Today we're gonna to talk about, should I go to a boot camp after I got my computer science degree? Computer Nerd 16 asks, I have been accepted into a highly reviewed boot camp that would teach C Sharp or Java. I was going to use this, along with my BS degree, to try to land a junior software developer job. While working, I am going to try to complete an MS in data science. First of all, which language would be a better choice? Secondly, is my plan stupid? I really, really love the plan that you put together in this post. Most people do not do this. They, um, they overlearn for an extended period of time before they try to enter the job market. It's as if I must know everything before someone will pay me, and that's not true at all. So I like the fact that you've got your BS degree, and now that you're considering a boot camp, I really like that because I really believe that full-time immersive boot camps is the perfect capstone for a, a BS degree or a computer science degree, undergrad degree. And so here's one other thing I want to caution you on. When you're looking at your boot camp, make sure that A, I'm going to walk out with a portfolio of business projects. And a business project would have a login, security, a database, and solve a really specific business type or enterprise type solution. Um, if it's games or tic-tac-toe or calculator or is this picture a hot dog, those won't get you jobs. Look at your boot camp and make sure that you're going to walk out with business level projects in that portfolio that you're going to build them while you're there. Second thing is, do they do interview prep? Hopefully most of the immersion boot camps that I know of do. So you just want to double check that and make sure they're doing interview prep. And then finally, to complete your plan here, I think you're missing one important thing. You need to call a recruiter. And if you're not, um, thinking about that, do not apply to these things directly on your own, but look for a recruiter that works inside the Michigan area where you're at and find that can find you that perfect .NET job. Um, I went real quickly on Indeed and looked and in Michigan. There's about 201 or so at the time that I'm recording this .NET openings. Now you may not be qualified for all of those, but what that shows you is there is a pretty strong demand for the skill set that you're going to learn at this boot camp. And by the way, I think you should learn C-sharp over Java. I just believe that it allows you to do web dev, Windows dev, desktop dev, enterprise dev, on the Azure, and also as well as mobile as, as well using something like Xamarin. So I think it's a lot more general purpose than Java. But either way, I think having a portfolio of business projects is big, and then working with that recruiter to help you break into the industry is perfect. And then after that, get someone else to pay for that master's of computer science in data science. And then you can specialize after you have all of these general purpose um, programming skills put together. Anyway, I hope that helps, but good luck and keep coding. If you like that, I've put together five steps that you need to follow to get your first job as a software developer. Go to coderfriendly.com slash job roadmap. My team will be there to help you out as you get your first job as a software developer. And if you like this video, please subscribe and we can give you more great content just like this. Mm -hmm.